Hello guys, this is a Foxtrot 5 November Papa Victor. So I'm going to explain to you guys uh, uh, how I'm using my Hermes Light uh, SDR for remote uh, with a remote uh, CW capabilities. So basically, locally, I'm using uh, my Hermes Light uh, with Quisk with a Raspberry Pi with a K3NG. Uh, CWK here, so of course it's plugged directly to the CN4 uh, plug, so it's working perfectly. So I have uh, no major issue with the latest, latest firmware, the P3 firmware, it's working very, very well. So I use it uh, during the last uh, worldwide CW uh, contest on no issue at all. But basically, uh, I know a lot of guys uh, try to figure out since SDR are very uh, convenient to be used uh, for remote with remote capabilities. So uh, for CW, mostly I'm using, of course, the MS Lite Quisk on the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi, in fact, is very interesting because it's uh, there is some uh, GPIO capabilities, input or output. So a few months ago, in fact, I find a, a website EW, uh, from uh, um, Italian arm radio, EW7DMH, if I'm not mistaken. And this guy has uh, developed uh, a tiny software in order to uh, remotely uh, cane uh, SDR transceiver. So mostly, I think he was using this uh, software mostly to, for 2K uh, soft rock uh, transceiver, but it can be used with other transceiver. So I'm going to show you. So the software, this is this one. This is a remorse, remote Morse care. So as you, as you notice, uh, you can uh, set up a straight case, semi-auto, yambic, mode A, mode B, uh, reverse. You have uh, you can adjust the radio tone, 800, 700. You can adjust also the side tone, your um, uh, lever. And you can notice here there is uh, some uh, TCP IP channel on I/O port input. So the I.O. port input is, in fact, this is, I'm going to show you, it's not so easy. This is a RS-232 um, interface. So basically, on his website or on myqz.com, you, you will find all the details. So it's very straightforward to build, to resistor, if I'm not mistaken, if I can remember. That's all, plus a, a jack plug. This is uh, the carrier I'm using. So, in fact, as you notice, you can uh, remotely access to a, an output to the to another device. So, the other device will be the Raspberry Pi, and of course, with the Raspberry Pi, the MS Lite on Quisk. So, according with uh, to access and to remotely access to the Raspberry Pi, and after to key the GPIO, you need to use uh, Nmap capabilities. So, I'm, I'm going to open the little script you need to uh, to uh, to perform. With uh, this script, you notice I'm using GPIO 27. You can use other uh, GPIO. It's up to you. So this GPIO 27 will be triggered by the remote software through the LAN or WAN or the Wi-Fi network in order to key the CN4 uh, plug from the MS light. So I put all the detail you need to set up on according how to build this uh, script. So how to use it? It's quite simple. It's very straightforward. So Quisk, it's already uh, open. Uh, what you can do now, open the script. You notice there is some uh, uh, GPIO uh, setup. So it's one on zero. So I'm going to use uh, this uh, little uh, 
very hard <laughs> transceiver for to uh, monitor the output from the Hermes light on here the K. So what you need to do here, you open the script. The script is ready. is in standby mode, waiting from some UDP packet to uh, come through the network. So oh, let's fall down. So I open the software. You need to set up the IP address on the port. You can change the port if you want. I can use the script, but I'm not using uh, another. Uh, I'm using the standard port. You need to put it in a bar. So if we put in gray like that, that's mean uh, the remote interface is detected. And you need to choose the port where you plug the RS232 little interface. So, okay, so everything is okay. Now I'm going to K my, uh, my K. Yeah? So, there is the Cytone sound here. Here, the sound from the receive the monitor receiver. Here, you can see the output power from the Hermes light. And here, you can see some one and zero coming through the network, keying your GPIO out, the GPIO 27, on the K up to the K input from the AMS light. Uh, maybe you, you notice there is no, um, I'm very surprised because there is no latency in fact. You can see, put a little bit more sound, a little bit more, sorry. You see, there is no latency, it's, it's quite straightforward. In fact, for you guys who are using Windows, I, I'm not using Windows to be honest. I'm using uh, Linux. I'm a Linux guy. So, but for guys who are using win Windows or maybe Power SDR, in fact, you can do pretty much the same thing. You can do, you can use this software into your local computer, open Power SDR, and K up also the transceiver. I didn't try it, but I, I'm, I'm assuming it it can be also done. But you need to try it. So this is pretty much the, the solution I'm using. So Raspberry Pi, MS Lite, Quisk, GPIO output, GPIO 27, going through directly the CN4. Remotely, I'm using this software. You open the software, set up the IP address, set up the port for your tiny RS232 interface. Here you open a little script, uh, thanks to Nmap and your GPIO capabilities. And through the network, the this interface is going to send some uh, by UDP one and zero, and you're going to extract the one and zero in order to trigger your GPIO. So it's very straightforward, but basically it's working very well. So the another demo. So here you will notice on Quisk the software, you know, up, put, I can put also zero. You will see, you see the PTT. No issue. So this is what I'm using for remote CW capabilities. It's working quite well. I uh, use it sometime not all the time but sometime uh, from my inside my home or to from another place i can use it i try also to uh, trigger uh, through uh, the through internet and it's working also it's working also very well so you can even uh, remotely access uh, to your uh, uh, ms light even through the 4g uh, network or internet is working very well as far your system is connected through the to the wi-fi network and this wi-fi network is connected uh, to the to internet so that's all this is just uh, one of the solution you can use uh, to uh, remote uh, for remote so CW capabilities, but so far it's working very well. So, so far, so good. This is Foxtrot 5 November, Papa Victor going on QRT. See you guys.